Hello everyone! I don't know why I said that so enthusiastically. Actually, I do. I'm just excited to be filming. We're back. If I had asked myself when I had sort of taken a hiatus from vlogging and YouTube if I would be back, the answer probably would have been no. But I've just really come into my own and I'm sick of sort of trying to project this perfect journey into content creation. I'm just having a bit more grace and by a bit I mean a lot more grace for myself for the things that I like, for how I create content, for the messiness of the process in trying to become a content creator, the truth about wanting to be a content creator in the first place. So I just feel like this newfound perspective is not only so refreshing for me, but I think it's really gonna come across on, excuse me, my car is freaking out. I think it's really gonna come across on screen as well. I just looked at the timer and it said oh, 111. So manifestation, hey. The truth is I am so long winded. I love to talk. I have so many thoughts that I feel I need a longer format platform to convey those on so YouTube is it I used to oh hi much of your mail was left in my box oh thank you there so you much sorry <laughs> you too my neighbor was giving me our mail that startled me so I'm excited to just sort of jump into it. I figured today would be a good day to start since we have some exciting things on the roster. I am headed to a meeting with a couple of girlfriends to plan another girlfriend's sort of bridal, whatever it's going to be, lunch, shower. And then I'm going to get my hair done later, which I'm so excited about. I haven't gotten my hair done since last July. For the longest time, really itching for a change, I'm wanting to just chop it off or dye it a different color. But I think now that that's sort of settled and I've waited, I think I just want to go go in and enhance what I'm working with. I haven't gotten my hair colored in a really long time, so I just wanna like enhance my natural color, make it feel more rich, more sumptuous. I do a lot of blowouts and just sort of leave them for like a week on end, and so I wanna have a cut that sort of accentuates that and helps with that. Let's go on a day of errands. The snow is melting in Nashville. I'm feeling more thought out myself, so I think we're gonna get some really good footage. I have to get a table through there. We can do to go orders here, but if you'd like to sit down, we can get you a table. Okay, that'd be great. <laughs> you need anything else? Uh, no. What am I thinking? Let me do that. Yes. Hair first. Hair first. Okay, <laughs> I feel like, you know, when I text, I was like, I want to do a big change, but now that it's all out, I'm like, I don't. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And I don't want to cut it, okay. like, too much, right? like a big chop. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I thought. I was like, oh, I'll get a fringe. Maybe I'll get paid. Like, so we're out of our prey. Uh, well, and I do. Or you're maybe doing stuff. I want to do both. I want to do both. Okay. So well, that's a good period. I want to just do both. Mm -hmm. I definitely have braids, you know that. So I want to prefer those. And I just want it to be, like, as healthy looking as possible. Mm -hmm. I got my colors in the morning. Okay. And found out that I'm a winter, so cooler tones suit me, so like a, it would feel always good. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like that fits you? Yeah, definitely. So like, I don't want to be too warm or anything. I'll show you some things that I'd like to see. Yeah, let's just look at it. Yeah, let me see. Like when I hear you say like, what's yeah. in the race. Like to me, like all of these look a little bit more like polished styles. Yes. So you're not really like going for like, lots of texture, no. lots of movement. Like most of these like clearly have layers to create a shape, totally. but they're not like really doing a ton of shape so you can have like lots of different like movement. <laughs> like this is kind of like more blowout looking. Yes, okay. yes. and like uh, polish is I think a good way to put it. Up here you're going more into like some fringe, but the moves majority of these are like, you don't really have layers to your chin, like yeah. anything above your chin, so like right. not really taking this up that much, so oh, that's it to like make so then totally, yeah. I mean, we can talk about like, uh, yeah. bangs or something, but I just, I think I, I mean, it kind of looks like, to me, I get bored, it kind of looks like they're, they're an afterthought, totally, <laughs> like, it's like, maybe I can do that. Like on that day, maybe I felt like you wanted to go. So, so you're saying pretty cool. So like the right now, so I can feel more. Or like you could kind of basically just be like, I 
want to be like as shiny as possible. Uh, yeah. Except, yeah. Let's do a little dry. Yeah, we can take off as much as you <laughs> need. And honestly, even if you had to take me wherever. A little bit and then it can kind of grow. Yeah. Down. And I feel like we're trending to a direction where like it's just gonna look healthier the mm -hmm. more that we do what we're doing. Right. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that feels really good. Okay. Yay, I'm so excited. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. It's so shiny. Ugh. Like a ah! <laughs> Like a freaking diamond. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so yeah, that good. Looks really healthy. So healthy. I'm obsessed. It's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, here is the after. I'm pretty obsessed with it. I keep looking in the, the viewfinder. So we took off a couple of inches, but honestly, I don't really mind because I really like the length and she just crushed it. She crushes it every time. I'm <laughs> full blown obsessed with it. We went on one walk with our dog and it's so humid in Nashville. My hair just completely the ballooned. Always but anyways, <laughs> we are headed to TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack. One of my friends who Honestly, is super fit. She's done like half marathons. She's done Ironmans. She somehow convinced me and one of our other girlfriends to train and run a half marathon with her, which I think will be a nice challenge for me, especially because I haven't been working out a ton the past like month and a half. I had this flare up with my hormones. Basically, it was all started with this allergic reaction to some essential oils. I got like a full body rash all over my body, and every time I would work out or get overheated it would flare back up so I typically do hot yoga about five times a week and every time I would go I would break out in this rash again so that took me out for like a few weeks and then after that it was the holidays and I just wasn't motivated to go back to the gym so I have been out of commish for about a month and a half now I think the half marathon is in April and so it'll just give me something to work on with my girlfriends to re-inspire me and then there's cross training worked into the program so I can still do yoga and go back. As far as my home hormones are concerned, I've been seeing an herbalist. I've been doing a lot of things to sort of get those in check. I really believe, and you guys can let me know if you agree or if you have experience with this, but I believe for women, our hormones impact so much of our daily life, like even more than we maybe give it credit for. So I know cycle syncing and things like that are really popular right now, but I think it's really worth it to just have more connection with your intuition in your body because I do think that the body keeps the score and it tells you so much. We'll have to watch all of that as I am training, but all that to say, we're headed out to Brentwood to look for some running shoes because I currently only have Hoka's and they're for lifestyle. I don't have official running shoes, even though I have ran before. I figured we would take you along. Not the most exciting thing, but I figured, hey, if I'm going to be training and running a half marathon, I'm at least going to document it. So I'm actually fairly shocked at the selection at Nor um, Nordstrom Rack. I found a few different styles I like. These are the Brooks. I think the purple is really cute. My friend who's running the half marathon, who's done, you know, marathons and things before, says she really loves the Brooks. Brand, and I think this purple is really cute. It's my colors, <laughs> so I like that. They also have these hokas, which are pretty cute and trendy. I like the colors, not my colors. They're also the most expensive option. I think these are 140, but I think they're usually retailed for 215. I'm curious how this thick bottom is gonna do. Apparently that's good for running long distances, but we're gonna try those. And then, I don't know if these are actually running shoes, but they say they're the Nike Interact Run brand on top and I like the way these look I don't know if training outside in the winter is gonna be great with these but we'll see but like I said I was really kind of impressed with the selection so I'm gonna try them on my feet see how they feel and then I guess we'll see we are back from Brentwood which felt like an excursion in and of itself but successful nonetheless I don't know what was going on with my camera but for whatever reason when I was in TJ Maxx it wouldn't let me record clips that were longer than like five seconds so I couldn't really show the trying on process plus I was a little bit flustered anyways but I ended up going with the Brooks I think these are the launch I think they're called the launch nine Yes, because I liked the purple color, but also because Chelsea recommended them and they were like half the price of the Hoka's. I liked the Hoka's, but I just, I didn't know if I could commit to spending $140 
I know that sounds silly when I'll be training for a, a half marathon, but yeah, these just seemed like the way to go. So I'm gonna see how I like these. The Nordstrom Rack is right next to a TJ Maxx. I think if you would have asked me like two years ago, I would have been like, oh, I don't really need to go to TJ Maxx, whatever, but I've been really into it lately. It's where I got these silver earrings. I love going to TJ Maxx to check like just affordable silver jewelry. And I've also been really into their beauty section. If somebody knows what's going on with the TJ Maxx beauty section, let me know. I don't know how they get their products, but from what I've seen online, it seems like good, legit. They're not expired or anything. They come directly from the manufacturer. So I don't know what the business model is, but I know that people absolutely love it. And specifically they love K-Beauty. I went for this other brand I if I can remember it I'll put it on the screen that I saw there last time and I didn't pick up because I didn't I don't know much about Korean beauty so this time I was like I'm gonna pick up some things just to see what the hype is do I need any more skincare absolutely not but I've seen a lot of TikToks recently where people have said that they've switched over completely to Korean skincare and their skin is like completely changed so if you have any recommendations of things to pick up next time I'm at TJ Maxx let me know and the price are so good so I think I spent $25 total so the first thing I got was this collagen cleansing foam they had a snail version too which when I looked up reviews online people said that they love and it really helped with their acne I know people really love the snail mucin thing there was this one there was the snail one and then there was like a milky like one with a cow on it I don't know I just kind of couldn't get past the snail thing I'm sure I could if it was like rave reviews this one just seemed the best for my skin concerns it says this cleanser contains hydrolyzed collagen, centella something extract, and milk protein extract to gently cleanse the skin while leaving smooth and hydrated. Gonna try that out. I know toners are a big thing with Korean skincare, so I got this Soon Jung pH 5.5. 5.5 right relief toner yeah again i was just like looking up reviews and seeing what people were saying about it so i'm gonna try it the packaging is really nice and when i saw people on tiktok saying that they were picking up korean skincare from tj maxx this was a brand that came highly recommended and then last thing i got is an infinite shine opi nail polish you can see my little bunk nail came off but one thing i've been loving to do is do my own nails at home i don't know if you guys have dove into this world but nail polishes can be so expensive a i've been trying to figure out the best solution like do i want to do gel at home i have a light so i can do that what gels do i like my friend also introduced me to this brand called dazzle dry which dries in five minutes or less but it dries hard like gel and you can remove it with regular acetone or nail polish remover i like the dazzle dry system i think it's really good but i also have been trying these infinite shines and i'll use the dazzle dry base coat and top coat with this and i find that it works just just as well as dazzle dry if not better to be totally transparent a lot of people ask about the longevity of dazzle dry and of these sort of like long wear nail polishes i can't speak much to how long they last just because i get so bored with my nails and i want to switch them up i think that's one of the perks of doing your nails at home but i will say that it looks really nice so picked up those three things but wanted to share my little haul from our foray into the burbs of brentwood just made my matcha and Sam's coffee. I've been on this hormone journey, trying to balance my hormones. So one thing that I did was I cut out coffee in the morning and actually usually I make a big batch of herbs the night before that are really supposed to support women's hormone balancing, women's health, but I actually just ran out. I have an appointment with my herbalist tomorrow. I cut out coffee and I've just been drinking matchas, which I don't know if it's any better, but it, apparently matcha has a cooling effect where coffee can be a little bit stimulating. I am getting ready to do my morning journaling. If you have been around this channel for a little bit, you'll definitely know that this is a mainstay in my morning routine. 